Hey guys, welcome back to the channel once again, Kenroy here. Now if you're new to this channel, just gonna invite you right now to just hit that subscribe button if you are enjoying this content. Now on our channel here, we absolutely love doing some DIY in order to save our family money, but also we love talking about personal finance and some healthy lifestyle tips that could save you money. And last but certainly not least, we enjoy a healthy dose of family vlog, whether it's a day out or a weekend away on holiday. Now if you're a returning subscriber, you probably realize that we're doing a huge ground floor renovation at this point. Now in today's video, I'll be showing you how we were able to remove the radiator from the wall in the kitchen so that we could have more space underneath for the tiles to be laid and also for me to give it a fresh coat of paint which will make it look as good as new. Like I said guys, if you're liking the content that we're uploading to this channel, please do hit that subscribe button as well as clicking the little bell note so as soon as a new video is uploaded, you'll be notified. Now you've probably realized that I've been uploading two videos a week and that's because of the amount of content that we've recorded from this ground floor renovation project where we're trying to renovate and turn our old Victorian style 1870s cottage from a humble house into a beautiful home. So in this video guys, I will be learning along with you on how to actually remove a radiator from the wall in order to raise it off the floor so that you'll be able to have more space and in my opinion, it also looks more aesthetically pleasing. So I hope you enjoy this video and you learn something too. Well only run out as good as your pipe work is. Yeah. Okay? okay, so we might get to a point where you aren't getting much more water coming out of here. So they might want still, still water what's left in. in. Okay. <clears throat> That's just plumbing for you. Mm. So can you actually remove the radiator from the wall? Because we're going to remove this because we need to get underneath and to raise it higher. But I've seen online where they're sort of... Um, what did they do? I think they just isolated it and lifted it off and sort of lay, lay it flat. Can you actually do that? Or is it some radiators you can do that with? I wouldn't want to do that. Yeah, because you might damage the pipe. You... These are only soldered joints. Mm. And if you put too much pressure on them, they yeah. can split. Okay. But that's me, mm -hmm. I, you know. It's far easier to just drain the system and... Plumbers do it day in, day out. That's all they do. Mm. I've only learned what I know from doing it at my house, I fitted my central heating system, mm. apart from the gas. Yeah. And I learned as I went along. Mm -hmm. Fair enough. I soldered all the joints, never having done it before. Yeah. And when I did it, there was no, there was no YouTube. Yeah. You had to think and use your brain, you know? And it was like, right, okay. A lot of it is just common sense. Mm. So what we do is we'll whip this off. Yeah. We we'll leave the brackets where they are. Mm -hmm. Take the tiles, tiles off around it. Uh -huh. And then we lift lift it up and then take the remaining tiles. As long as we've got a, a mark for where the brackets are, that's cool. And you will get a bit of water come out of here. Mm -hmm. it's, it's just inevitable, yeah. You can't stop it. Fair enough. Radiator, because you can't get the plywood underneath. So you're gonna have to raise it up. So how do you raise it over here? You were saying about getting some copper pipes and actually, Basically, what do you have to do? We'll cut those pipes off mm -hmm. and then we'll put some bends on. Oh. But what we'll do is we'll just cut the pipes off. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. we we'll lift the radiator out of the way. Yeah. So we know where, what we're doing. Get rid of all these tiles, job done, dusted, sorted. Mm -hmm. And then we're, leave the pipe work in situ on the radiator and then just reconnect it. Obviously with it being higher. Yeah, a bit higher, yeah. Perfect. So I say you'll, you'll learn how to do it. <laughs> I mean, I, I did all mine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I have one corner piece. When I filled the system, I have one leak. Mm. Right in that corner. And the only thing with solder is you have to drain the whole system back down because you can't solder the water in the pipe. Of course. So, yeah. I mean, a lot of people use Conex fittings, and sometimes you have to. What's Conex? Compression fittings. That's a Conex. Yeah. yeah. That's, that's a, I call them Conex, but mm -hmm. they're, they're called 
and you got the little is it olive what is it yeah there's an olive in there or you can use these mm. these are good but a lot of people don't realize you have to and i say have to meaning have to mm. you have to use those in the plastic pipe Oh right. What's, is that like the olive sort of thing or what does that it do? That stops the pipe from compressing in the fitting. Okay. Because basically you're pushing the pipe into that fitting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it goes through that rubber ring. Yeah. And that makes the pressure. But if the pipe has got that insert in, the pipe can't move and it will be round. Yeah. Um, if the pipe's not hundred percent round. Yeah. So Mr. Ken here. now is going to learn, can you see all this black slopes coming yeah, in? Yeah. That's all the crew. Yeah, like all system. the radiators um, yeah. shedding and whatnot. <coughs> Flux running out. And then eventually, you see it starting to go? Mm. Very hot. Brilliant. It's not the world's prettiest, but with the pipe that we had, that's as good as you're gonna get it, I'm afraid. Well, like I said, it's all tucked away. Look, gonna well, need that physical anyway. Finished. Why go and spend eight or nine pound mm. on a length of copper pipe that you would probably have used that much off. Yeah. Like I said, I keep the little bits. See, this is off a job. Normally when I do a kitchen, I've got to rejig all the pipe work. Mm -hmm. But your pipe work staying virtually in the same place. Yeah. The only issue I'm gonna have are these valves. Mm -hmm. Because unless you switch the water off. Yeah. In an ideal world, these want to come through the cupboard. Okay. Yeah? Yeah. So obviously I can't, I can't twist them through the cupboard mm -hmm. and I can't take this off because there's going to be the water. So it might just be a case of you having to say to your neighbours, look, need the water yeah. off for an hour and then we rejig it and get rid of that and put it how we want it. Absolutely. Your yeah, isolation valves need to come through the cupboard. So it's easy access. The cupboard. So it's easy access. And also, if I replace them, I know they're new. Right? Yeah. Brown tiles. 
Yeah, they they painted them, didn't they? Yeah. Okay. I can't get over her black that is. <laughs> To extend the pipe or something. And a lot of people make the mistake of putting both of those in. Mm. You don't. You use one for your up and down alignment, and then the bottom one fixes uh. it solid. Then it can't slide. as opposed to what it was doing before. It's a job that we can sort out. But as you see, nothing ever goes 100% sometimes. Yeah. I know. There you go. I mean, that looks better already. Okay guys, so the builder has gone on for the day and as you can see here, the brackets have been raised, the pipes has been connected and we've taken this radiator from almost sitting on the floor. Now I know it may not seem like much by raising the radiator a few inches off the floor, but trust me when I tell you, it looks so much better. The radiator now has a sense of presence in the room. Now although you can see here that it's not yet painted and it hasn't been reattached to the wall just yet, but I guarantee you it's gonna look absolutely amazing once it's all done and dusted. Okay guys, there you have it. The radiator has been raised up off of the floor. Uh, we've done the pipe work and now all that is left is for me to give it a fresh coat of paint so that it'll be able to match in with our colour scheme once this ground floor renovation is complete. If you have been watching and been enjoying this content so far, please don't hesitate to hit the like button as well as subscribe to our channel. We're trying to make it to 1000 subscribers by the end of the year so we'll really appreciate it if you would just smash that subscribe button. I hope that these videos that we've been bringing you have been inspiring and encouraging. I really hope that they've been providing some benefit to you. At the very least, I hope that they have been entertaining. As always, this is Kenroy saying, I'll see you when you see me. Take care.